Hello everyone. Let's see how we can create a logo animation in Photoshop with animator plugin for Photoshop. Uh, we will create two versions. Uh, first version that will be fancy version and the second version uh, will be modern version of animation uh, with logo cool uh, how it uh, looks like in the photoshop cool and the second version it look like this I close these two final versions of animations. Uh, all files uh, will be available on links uh, in the description, and you can see and taste examples of this animation. Okay, let's start with fancy version. Uh, as you can see, I have three elements, text, bottom element, and top element. Cool. First, we need to create a video timeline. Go to animator panel and click on this icon and then create a video timeline. Cool. Let's animate our elements. Let's start from bottom elements and I want to add fallen corner 3. Okay, just select element and click intro. It will be beginning of my animation of the bottom element. Cool. Uh, select my basic layer and create a static animation. Cool. Let's pause my preview files I don't need for now. And let's see of our animation. Cool. Of course, uh, in the next steps we can uh, increase or reduce the duration of my static animation layers uh, on the timeline panel. Cool. Let's set to three seconds. Okay. Go to top element and create foreign oops sorry maybe foreign two. Let click intro. And select my basic layer. Create this static view. Cool. Let's hide my animations. Uh, hide my basic layers. And let's see. I have two animated elements. Okay, let's offset my layers a little bit. Here, boom. Cool. And of course, uh, let's say duration of my static animation. Uh, two, three seconds. Cool. We have two animated elements. Uh, let animate our text layer. And in this case, I want to use my uh, scale up easy animated presets. 
uh, click intro, all the same, click intro, click static view, and after we can create uh, outro, it will be end of our animations. Select basic layer, click create static animation. Cool. Uh, hide my basic layers, my basic layer. And select two layers and offset the timeline. Okay, let's see our animation. So select static animation view and set uh, duration to three seconds. Cool. We have all three animated elements. We have begin of our animation. Go to the next steps and let's create our outro. Let's start. Uh, these top elements select top element and go to scale uh, let's see preview files uh, and I want to use turn scale bounds okay and the same effect I want to apply to the bottom element cool Hide my basic layer, uh, turn on visibility bottom layer, and all the same. Cool. Uh, now I don't need my basic layer, bottom element, and top element, I can delete it. Uh, and uh, as you can see, uh, you can easily navigation on the timeline panel. And for static animation, sorry, for my text layer, I want to use a scale uh, up easy. Okay, I uh, have all three parts of animation for this layer and I can delete it. I don't, don't need it now. And let's see our begin of animation and ends of animation. Cool. Let's create some. A small tip, uh, as you can see, I cannot increase my duration of the timeline panel because Photoshop don't see any layers uh, that can uh, be more than this duration. How we can fix it? It's uh, very easy, it's very easy and just create a new layer set a zero frame 
and as you can see I can increase or reduce my duration on the timeline okay let's set as default five seconds okay let's see our animation we need a wait a little bit while Photoshop calculate each frames uh, and write into cache cool uh, with this example uh, we finished let's create a group cool go the next uh, example modern uh, intro reveal logo create a video timeline let's start with top elements in this case I want to start my animation from right side and end of my animation to the left side cool uh, let's see what animation we can use uh, in this case I want to use simple move cool uh, let's create intro from right to left side Uh, just select basic layer create a static animation uh, let's set uh, to maybe again uh, three second uh, and let's create our outro go to simple move outro and the same direction from right to left direction have three parts of this element intro static animation uh, and uh, outro and now I don't need this element let's see the animation cool we need to do all the same steps for my bottom element and group it case I want to change uh, direction now in from left to right side intro from left to right select my basic layer create the static animation now uh, static view and click base layer again and let's create outro with the same direction cool Our duration and let's see cool create a group and give the name tone element 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 animation and 
finally, let's create text layer with uh, this title. I will use title easy. Cool. Uh, again, select basic layer, create static view, and finally, I want to create outro at the same direction. From top to bottom. Cool. Let's set our tracks as we need. I don't need this layer anymore. Text animation. Let's see what we have. We have a simply modern logo animation created to be animator plugin for Photoshop. Cool. I think uh, that this video tutorial uh, will be very helpful for you to create a Western logo animation in Photoshop with uh, animator plugin. If you have some questions, uh, I will be glad to help you. Uh, and uh, I hope that you will stay tuned with updates uh, in this panel. Okay, uh, big thanks for watching and enjoy!